let's quickly get to the point without wasting time you don't have to be a specialist to say that right lung is a decrease in volume right hemidiaphragm is not clearly visible there are signs of traction as you can see the trachea right main bronchus and its immediate branches are deviated towards the right side they're not in the middle the trachea is not in the middle even the carina is on the right side the condition whatever it is causing right lower lung to shrink in size and it is pulling higher structures towards itself multiple round air densities of varying sizes are present nearly all of them with a definite opaque outline such densities are commonly known as cyst right hard border is not visible commonly known as loss of cell weight. The cysts are nothing but dilated and ballooned bronchi. The condition is known as a bronchiectasis. CT scan of the same patient and as we go down you'll see that the CT confirms the diagnosis. You can see multiple cysts. This is a dilated uh, bronchus. You can see there's a bronchus here and you can see instead of tapering towards the periphery the bronchus is getting bigger in size and if you go back you can see a branch emerging from the right main bronchus instead of tapering down it is ending up as a big balloon uh, as a big cyst instead of tapering down and eventually becoming invisible as in this area. So this is uh, bronchiectasis. The condition is defined as irreversible dilatation of bronchi usually caused by and coexist with chronic infection that damages the internal walls of the bronchi, the epithelium. The infection penetrates the bronchial walls. The damage causes swelling and inflammation of submucosa and necrosis of the surrounding lung parenchyma as well as the necrosis of the the tissue in the bronchial walls as well it eventually increases the diameter of a bronchi frequently creating large cyst as in this case the cyst may or may not be filled with fluid and with pus if fluid is present it creates fluid levels on chest x-rays and a CT scan these infections heal with scarring and fibrosis causing decrease in lung volume and also the functionality. Each infection then adds to the misery of the patient and further decreases the functionality of the lung. Thickened bronchial walls often are identified as tram track lines. Uh, let me find a good example for you such as this one. So this is a tram track line which means nearly parallel walls instead of tapering down towards the end. The same thing is true with this. This is a huge bronchus. The condition is classified into several types and some types often have more than one name just so that students and learners can get confused as is the case with many other conditions. I'm pretty sure I've made another video explaining the different types. This is cystic bronchiectasis which is the the worst form. See the number of cyst. Almost half of the lung or more than half of the lung is not functional in this patient. CT scan especially HRCT is the modality of choice. This is not HRCT but HRCT is the modality of the choice to make the the diagnosis even in early stages. It also helps in making a judgment about the extent of the condition. Bronchiectasis is a common complication of conditions like cystic fibrosis, tuberculosis, allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, and bronchitis, which can also happen as a result of smoking. 
it can be focal means limited to an area of lung commonly only one lobe of lung is involved in which case it is usually easy to surgically remove the tissue it can also be multifocal bronchiectasis can also occur as a result of fibrosis which causes attraction by shrinking of lung parenchyma so instead of infection anything that can cause the fibrosis the fibrosis will shrink the volume of the lung and eventually it will pull the the other structures that are attached to lung parenchyma that includes uh, bronchial walls and uh, it can happen that way as well a normal histology slide from a bronchiole if uh, this patient had bronchiectasis you'll see this epithelium is missing it's uh, or frequently damaged and you'll see inflammatory changes in submucosa thank you very much